As parents, students, and educators navigate the upcoming school year, we want to empower you to make the best decision for your family. As part of our series, Safely Back to School, we're looking at the mounting pressure on caregivers. Kristen Byrne has more from moms and dads making some hard decisions. Regardless of how you feel about virtual or in-person learning, as schools start back up, the pressures parents are feeling is undeniable. Yeah. Every time I feel a kick, I'm like, it's worth it. Denny and Lindsay Hurwitz of Whitefish Bay are eight weeks away from welcoming another child into their family. About a year ago, Lindsay lost her baby because of a random virus. She was six months along. That is why she wants to homeschool her four-year-old daughter, Lauren, to best protect her family from COVID-19. I don't want to go through that right now again until, like, we are in the clear. I'm not going to send her if on the weekends everybody's running around going here and there. Staying at home and limiting contact with everyone has not been easy. We don't get babysitters. We don't go out. Um, I'm exhausted. Just the same, leaving the learning up to parents comes with its own stressors. I don't think that virtual is a very good idea. Chris Sayers' daughter, Corey, is going to be a sophomore at Rufus King. We're not teachers. We don't know what to do. He and his wife work full time. When MPS closed schools in spring, it was a balancing act, something he doesn't want to repeat. What has been the biggest stress for you? As a parent, the planning aspect has been very very difficult. I have no idea where my daughter will be taking class on, on December 1st. I have no idea. Might be here, might be half and half, it might be all at Rufus King. I have no idea. So how, how am I supposed to plan for that? With these school reopening plans being so fluid, how can parents manage that powerless feeling? Hopefully they have a solid support system that they can tap into. If that's not the case, therapist Nicole Jackson recommends joining a parent support group online or calling a parenting hotline. For caregivers balancing work and teaching kids, Jackson says don't be afraid to have conversations with your employer or your school staff and see how they can help you ease the pressure. She encourages families to be kind. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to plan? And what do you actually want my daughter to actually learn? because you never know what people are going through. It's worth to live underground, if you will, knowing that Lauren would get a chance to be a big sister. Again, that was Kristen Byrne reporting. So to recap, here's what our experts advise for dealing with stress. You should consider joining an online support group or calling 211 to be connected to a mental health expert. And finally, be in constant communication with your employer and school to know all of your options.